hey what's up guys uh, in today's video we'll see how to use socket.io with uh, angular 2 applications so uh, socket.io is mainly used for uh, real-time transfer of data and uh, you know the I myself have written a few examples on real-time chat applications using socket.io and uh, Ionic 2 framework. So now today in this video, I'll show you how to use uh, socket.io in Angular 2 applications. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, I'll just scaffold a new application using uh, ng-new uh, Angular 2 socket. Okay, while this gets ready, uh, what we'll do is uh, for the backend that is uh, we'll have a node.js backend uh, which will have socket installed in it and there will be a server listening for uh, open connections from our front-end angular application so for that what we can do is instead of writing a new one I'll just make use of my uh, previously written code uh, for the ionic 2 chat server so I'll just you know clone this Okay, this is done now. Let's open this up and uh, see uh, what it is like. Okay, this is our uh, chat server which we'll be using for this application as our backend. So we are just listening on the port number 3000. Uh, and the flag to be used is message here right so okay let's just go ahead and uh, get this started first of all uh, node index .js. okay this is started now let's just wait for this to finish okay this is done now so uh, this is our angular application right uh, wait i'll just uh, uh, get into this angular Okay, this is our angular application right now to use socket.io in this application we will make use of an npm module called socket.io hyphen client okay so to install that first of all i'll just npm install socket.io hyphen client uh, save okay let this get installed meanwhile uh, for for this socket.io module we need to install the typings right since we are going make going to make use of typescript so uh, to do that open up typings.json and then uh, add the socket.io client uh, what's this uh, ambient dependency reference okay i'm adding it here in case you are seeing this video in the future and you are adding this change this commit hash to the latest one okay uh, so that you know you will get an updated version of it of the same okay now uh, now that this is added let's go here okay this is installed now uh, rather than just giving typings install we can in inside the package.json we have a post install uh, script right so we can make use of that i'll just npm uh, run post install Now you can see socket.io uh, socket hyphen io client uh, uh, typing also has been installed as an ambient dependency uh, now now let's move on with the next step what you are going to do is uh, if you open up node modules and go to socket.io uh, client this socket.io.js file is the one which we need in order to make use of uh, the sockets in our angular 2 application so we should tell our module loader to load this file into the browser right that's the concept right so uh, to do that open up angular cli build.js file it has all the npm vendor npm files uh, are referenced here right add our uh, socket.io.client file along with that 
socket.io-client-socket.io.js this is the file we need there right so add this here okay this is done open up uh, source inside this there will be system config.ts file open that up and in the third party barrels just add socket.io-client sorry client and then uh, one more thing you need to do is this doesn't have a index file what you need is the socket.io.js file so you need to specify that right in order to do that we will just make use of a simple if else statement if uh, barrel name equals uh, socket.io-client barrels are this one these all these see it's a string array right okay uh, they are iterating through this uh, barrel array and then picking up the barrel name so obviously our socket.io client will be a, a part of that uh, barrel array right so if this is the scenario then uh, play system config packages this will be barrel name main uh, socket.io.js and uh, else for the rest of the things you can just give index right sorry save this and here also just add uh, socket.io-client slash sorry colon uh, vendor slash socket.io-client add a comma here now we have changed the system.config.ts file angular dot angular hyphen clay dot be clay hyphen build dot js file uh, and we have also installed the typings now we can go ahead and make use of this uh, socket dot io client uh, npm module in our uh, uh, application code so i'm just opening up this uh, component dot js file and then importing import uh, star io from socket dot io as I would right since we are using it yes. okay uh, now uh, remove this thing and then uh, I'll have a socket okay and then what I'll, I'll write a constructor function constructor uh, this dot socket equal to io http local sorry, http local host uh, this is the port number which our backend is running on so i obviously gave that and then what we need to do is we need to be listening to this right this dot socket dot uh, on uh, message 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 okay so very simple uh, piece of code here we are just listening on that socket we are connecting to the backend and then listening on that socket for uh, any messages with the flag message okay now we need to build up a mechanism in order to send messages as well right open up our html file take off all these and then uh, have a simple input type equal to text ng model Model equal to chat input, chat input, and then button type equal to sorry, uh, click equal to sorry, click equal to what was that? Uh, send will have a send chat input, send slash button. Okay, now uh, we'll come back to this. Open up the chat input field and then uh, write a new send method, send message. Uh, this dot socket dot init message. Come on, message. Okay. Now we have written a very simple code in which uh, on the front end there will be a text input along with a button. Once you give a message and click on the button uh, the socket will emit that message uh, to the backend 
the back end will pick it up and then emit it to all the nodes listening on that uh, uh, particular flag so uh, once it does that we are also listening on the message flag right so it will automatically take it up and print it up on the console this is what it's going to do now let's see whether this runs fine okay this has uh, compiled successfully right we'll just open this up and check it up yeah see this is how we make use of uh, socket i mean use socket dot io see sockets along with uh, angular 2 applications i'll just type a message hello you can get it on the console here right also in the back end uh, if you see it's just showing user connected because our uh, user uh, our socket got connected with the uh, back end through this code right that's a good yeah this code right that's why it's showing user connected now this is a very very simple basic example of how to use socket uh, sockets in your angular 2 applications now uh, just as a preview maybe since for the past few videos we have been talking about uh, observables uh, if you notice carefully the socket is listening uh, for messages on a particular flag that is the message flag right so what if uh, so uh, data arriving to the application uh over a period of time can be called as a stream right i told you right in my first uh, reactive programming video i said that said the same lines so this could be treated as a stream and a stream can be expressed as an observable obviously so let's make use of an observable try to make use of an observable subscribe to that observable and see uh, how we can uh, get the same data uh, get the same result obviously so what i'll do is i'll just import uh, uh, observable sorry observable from uh, rxjs slash observable and then i will just import all the operators rxjs slash rx this will import all the operators to be used on the observable obviously and then i uh, will take this entire thing out okay yeah i'll take this entire thing out and instead of this i'll just add an observable this dot uh, let uh, listener equal to observable dot uh, from event the event is uh, is dot socket comma message this is how the data comes through to our application through the socket and then i'll just subscribe to this uh, listener dot subscribe listener dot subscribe uh, we'll have a payload console dot log payload now let's see what happens See, we get the same result, right? I am just typing a message. It's getting sent over, and then uh, I am listening. I mean, using an observable to get that data back from the through the socket, and then I am subscribing to that observable uh, to display the data. So you might ask me, why should I do this? Why can't I just uh, make use of that uh, socket or on? Uh, connection itself and listen abso the main reason is that what i would say is observable has a lot of operators so that you could manipulate the data you receive and then display what you want to do or uh, do what you want to do you can also perform a lot of operations on the data which you receive obviously so that's one main use of uh, way of using uh, observables so uh, also uh, making use of cold and hot observables you can create synchronous synchronized streams of uh, you know like i showed you in my last video i told you right uh, live video transmission should be coming under a hot observable uh, whereas any video transmission would be regarded as a cold observable so in that in such type of cases you can make use of observables make you uh, make more sense than the uh, regular listeners right so let's uh, maybe i'll show you a small example of uh, creating two streams and uh, then you know connecting to a specific stream through an observable so first of all to create two of them we'll stop this 
and then get into the back end just copy this paste it again instead of message what we will be emitting is info and then again info we will save this and this go back to our original code I mean angular to a code open up our html have another button have another text field and button okay this button will be connect this will be join room and uh, room name okay uh, now i have two text fields and two buttons coming back to the component uh, room name equal to this one and uh, what i'll do is rather than listening rather than doing this entire thing here I'll just have a join room and then a room name, room name. and uh, uh, this entire thing will have it here. Everything will have it here. Instead of this, this listener will just make use of the room name. Uh, this start room name. Okay. and. Uh, to show that the data comes from different rooms, I will just from uh, room plus this dot to me plus uh, hyphen. Okay, okay, look. Uh, then emitting also we need to do if uh, uh, this dot room name room name exists, we will emit the data through that room. This dot room name. Uh, it's Let the user know that he has joined the room. We will have an alert here as well. Connected to this store. Okay. Uh, now we can just go ahead and remove this. Now, uh, in a simple words, I will just take, try to explain this. Constructor, we are just connecting a socket, nothing more than that. And we have a separate join room. What we will do is uh, the user will enter the name of a room and then click connect. Once he clicks connected, uh, I mean connect, an observable will, will be created uh, for that specific uh, uh, data coming for that room. And then the user will automatically be subscribed to that observable so that he can see all the data inside uh, that room. So if a user tries to connect to another room uh, by giving a different name, uh, this entire thing will go off and that. Uh, Room's data will be shown to the user. So let's see how this works in uh, reality. So uh, first of all, if I try to just give something and send, it will show join a room first. This is what we have programmed. Okay, this works fine. Now if I just uh, connect to the info room, and then I'm just connecting, connected to info it says, and then I'm sending hi from room info hi, right? So we are in the info room. Uh, now if I just send uh, from I uh, connect to message room connect connected to message now if I send a message my room from room message hello right so what we are doing is we have two different streams two different sockets I mean socket is the same we have two different flags message flag and the info flag through which we are sending data and we are making use of a single observable uh, which in turn gets the data and then uh, provides it to the subscriber subscribe to that observable so it makes our life a bit easier right and besides this all type of uh, operators like map filter uh, and all other operations which i had shown you previously can be uh, used upon this uh, used while using an observable and yeah it has a lot of other advantages as well guys so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today uh, hope this video helped you if it helped you kindly share it with someone else and help them too and uh, if you liked it, uh, kindly hit thumbs up. To watch more videos like this, uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. So, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you today. Talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.